Ancient symbols, carved in doors and other objects, were believed to have magical powers. They have been common throughout history, pretty much everywhere in the world. Let's take a look at probably the best known symbol from Finland, which is nowadays the symbol of the church boat. So let's instead take a look at the Hannunvaakuna, or looped square in English. This badass looking symbol was widespread in Northern Europe, including Finland and Scandinavia. Nowadays it is usually connected with Finland, which is only reasonable as we were late to capitalize on Vikings and spent the last world war fighting for the right to exist, not profiting from it like Sweden. Nor did we later become rich, dripping with oil like Norway. At least we have this perkele. The symbol was often featured on doors, pendants, buckles, cheese molds and later on coins, among other things. It was used for protection against evil spirits. How exactly? or what the power was based on, I don't know. In the 20th century, it was adopted as a traffic sign for tourist attractions in the Nordic countries, and was later stolen by Apple for the command key in their keyboards. The oldest surviving Hannunvaakuna in Finland is found on a pair of thousand-year-old skis. The name Hannunvaakuna, meaning Hannu's coat of arms, likely wasn't used at the time, as Hannu is a Christian name and coats of arms or heraldry, as we know it from the Middle Ages, were not known at the time. So what would ancient Finns have called it? Maybe by its other name Kapalik. Drop a comment if you know. The four corners are said to represent the four compass points. Kalevala Koru a large jewelry maker focusing on ancient design, which non-Finnish viewers might not have heard of, says that the power of the Hannunvaakuna was once known by the entire Northern Europe. It symbolizes the four protective spirits supporting the sky above. The northern, the northern peoples named these spirits West, East, North and South. This video is by no means sponsored by Kalevala Koru. But it could be sponsored by you, should you wish to cover your torso from people's gazes with the powers of both the Hannunvaakuna and a bear skull. As it is a simple symbol, it is no wonder that similar symbols have appeared for example in ancient Egypt, according to the Taiwan Naula organization. This was an overview of the Hannunvaakuna and is dedicated to all the Hannus out there in the vast depths of the internet. As always, feel free to share your thoughts and prayers in the comments. And if Finnish mythology is close to your heart, check out my other videos or even consider subscribing to the channel and all that crap.